Competence in quantitative methods is expected from uh, various graduates, such as those from social sciences, public health, economics, and population studies. Uh, the relevant concepts and skills uh, for quantitative methods is usually taught in the classroom and alongside with this some field visits are usually done. While teaching quantitative methods, we realized that several students find it challenging to learn the concepts of population, sampling, calculation of rates, ratios, proportions. So we have designed this tool which we have named as Sarvepura, which is a tabletop simulation based pedagogical tool which can be used to teach quantitative methods for social science research and public health research. The Sarvepura tool provides an opportunity to learn these concepts and skills by applying them in a fictional village but within the classroom. We designed Sarvepura to help facilitators create an environment where they can systematically guide and handhold the students in the learning process. In addition, visiting a local community to learn how to collect data may not always be possible and it may actually inconvenience them. Sarvepura helps to mitigate these challenges as it simulates an Indian village with its typical characteristics inside a classroom. The Sarvepura tool consists of a few parts. The first part is this large illustration of a village which we have called as Sarvepura and it has 155 households. Second is that each of these households have two cards each. The first is a sociodemographic card which has a sociodemographic data of that household. The second is a health card which has some health data of that household. The third part is a master spreadsheet which is an Excel file that has all the data of all the households and this is mainly used by the facilitators to plan their exercises. And the last part is the user manual of Sarvepura which can also be used by facilitators to understand this tool better. To use Sarvepura, the instructor should first read the manual and familiarize themselves with the tool, including the village, uh, the characteristics on the canvas, the data cards, and also the spreadsheet which provides the data for Sarvepura. We have printed the village illustration on a canvas. It measures 16 feet by 4 feet. Uh, it can also be rolled so it's easy to store and transport. The data cards are printed on 300 GSM card papers. After preparing the lesson plan, the next step is to arrange the tool in the class. Preferably in the center of the class so that all the students can gather around the tool. Each household in the village is numbered and each of these households has a specific sociodemographic card and a health card. The sociodemographic card is a brown color card and you'll see that the number is printed on top of the card so you can find the household and keep it on top of that. Similarly, the health card, which is a green card, also has a specific number on it, which will help you to keep it on the right household. Then the students are invited to familiarize themselves with the tool and they are told about Sarvepura and about how they are going to engage with it. Following this, the students will uh, equip themselves with the data collection tool and prepare the sample list. They will then visit the sampled households and collect the relevant data by looking at the respective data cards. In addition, they will also observe the type of household, that is, whether it is kacha, pakka, or semi-pakka, and also record this in their data collection instrument. After data collection, the instructor can discuss the experience of engaging with this exercise and can also revise the concepts, can discuss the data analysis and reporting. To keep it simple, we have created only a few variables. However, we cover all types of variables. So students will have the opportunity to learn how to analyze the data and how to report it. It is possible to use this tool to teach various concepts related to quantitative methods, such as cross-sectional studies, sampling, uh, basic quantitative analysis and reporting. We use Sarvepura in the research methods and in the epidemiology course as part of our MA development program and in the Master of Public Health program at Azim Premji University. For those who are interested to learn more about this or want to use it, uh, you will find our email addresses on the website of Azim Premji University.